All right. So the other day I wanted to create a presentation on the topic, the future of SEO. So I straight away opened an AI tool called Gamma and gave it a simple text prompt, something like this, the current state of SEO in 2024 and the future. And I just hit enter within seconds. Gamma created a stunning looking presentation that I could present right away. And the best part, Gamma intelligently added interesting data points and images and also gave each slide a unique layout and style. As you can see, the presentations have multiple images, illustrations, stylish text, icons, and much more. So gone are the days where you were required to spend at least an hour to create a stunning looking presentation with images, interesting data points, layouts, and style. Now, with the help of AI, you can create stunning looking presentation in less than a minute. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how. Meet Gamma, an AI power tool that can create presentations, documents, and even websites without design or coding skills. Gamma excels not only in creating presentations, you can also use it to create web pages by giving simple text prompts or even a fully fledged document in less than a minute. So let's start. All right. So the first thing that you got to do is to click in the first link in the description below to visit gamma.app and sign up for a new account or more like a free account. As you can see, Gamma offers a free account where you get 400 AI credits that you can use to explore and try Gamma. So once you sign up for an account and log into it, this is the page that you'll be treated with and this is where all the magic happens. So first of all, when you go to gamma.app slash create, this is the interface that you will see. And as you can see, we have three options right here. So we have paste in text, generate and import file or URL option. First, we'll start with the generate option. So I'll go ahead and click on it. And now first we got to select what exactly we are trying to create. Okay. Now we have options to create a presentation, a web page or a document. Don't worry. I'll show you how we can create a web page and document also. But first let's start with the presentation option. And the first thing that you got to do is to describe what you would like to make. Okay. So whatever will be the topic about which you want to create a presentation, you can just go ahead and enter the same in here. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and enter the current state of SEO in 2024 and the future. Now, depending on how complex or how in-depth you want your you know, presentation to be, you can go ahead and select the number of cards you need. For now, let me just keep it at eight. And optionally, you can also go ahead and select the language. For now, I'll keep it as English and I'll click on the option that says generate outline. I'll click it and wait. Now, within seconds, Gamma will generate a basic outline of all the slides that are to be included in the presentation. Now, Gamma gives you total control of every aspects of creating a presentation. So it starts here right from the outline section. You can go ahead and make changes if necessary. And if you want to add more cards, you can go ahead and click on this option, click on add cards and add the whatever thing that you want to say. Let's say I'll go ahead and say conclusion and you can go ahead and add or delete cards and outline section right from here. And now let me scroll down. Now here in the settings tab, you can also go ahead and further customize and configure how you want your presentations to be. The first is how long your presentation, how, how much text content should be included in your presentation. They have three options that is brief with short sentences, medium with a few concise paragraphs and a detailed with multiple detailed paragraphs. For now, I'll keep it as medium. And Gamma is an interesting app because it can go ahead and create images and include them in the presentation as well. Okay. Now as for the image source, you have three options. The first one is going to be auto. The second is web and the next one is AI. Now, depending on what kind of image that you want to insert into your presentation, you can go ahead and select any of these options. Now, if you click on this web option, it will go ahead and search the web and include images that are freely available. And if you want to generate it using AI, you can go ahead and click on this AI option and it will just generate images using what image style that you give in here okay now as for the image style if you want your AI images to look in a specific way like you can go ahead and describe the color style or mode to use here and you can also select a image model that you want so if you click on this drop down menu you can find a couple of image models that you can use to generate the images for now I'll keep it at flex pro 1.1 and you're free to go ahead and select any different AI image models that you want. And if you click on this advanced option right here, you can further customize the way you want and fine tune the kind of presentation that you want to generate. For example, you can go ahead and give what you want to write it for. And you can go ahead and select the tone, for example, let's say professional, conversational, technical, output language, images, format. Now you can go ahead and customize every aspects of creating a presentation right from this prompt editor. And once you're all good to go, you can go ahead and click on this option that says continue. So I'll click on continue and wait for a few seconds 
and before that gamma will ask you to select the style at which you want to kind of create the presentation okay now depending on the kind of presentation that you want to create the style will be a little different right maybe you want a professional tone and if it's uh, for children's you want it to be playful and colorful now gamma gives a lot of theme options that you can select from so simply go to here and you can scroll through and find a lot of different color options and themes that you can use to create a presentation and clicking on each of them will actually show you a preview as to how things will look so you can go ahead and look at the preview of each theme options and find the one that you like the most uh, for this one i'll stick to this option that says gamma dark and i can click on generate now within seconds gamma will start to create the presentation right in front of you and the best part is that the gamma ai will stream the content right in front of you and you can see as it built the entire content so let's wait till it is done done gamma has finished generating the entire presentation and it hardly took about 30 seconds to 45 seconds maximum so let me scroll all the way to up and this is the current state of the presentation okay so this is the one that gamma has generated depending on the kind of prompt and the settings that we configured earlier so it has a text that says the heading that says the current state of seo in 2024 and the future so this is the exact topic that i gave initially we have a nice image we it has my name and it has even pulled my profile picture from my profile so you can go ahead and view and go through all these slides that Gamma has generated and you can see it has used the image model that we selected and created AI images and inserted it in here. Now we have two sections right here. The layout, if you look at all the layout of all the slides here, you will see all of them are distinct and all of them are very different. Okay. Now this is one thing that I like a lot about Gamma. The ga all the slides that within your presentation will have a unique layout and if you were to create it manually trust me it will take you hours to kind of come up with a, a layout or style something like similar to this one and yeah this is the default presentation that gamma has created based on the initial inputs that we gave now if you want to you can also go ahead and further customize and edit this presentation right from here editor interface okay now let's say i want to change this image and replace it with a new image now all i got to do is to click on this image and click on this option that says uh, edit accent image and now a uh, pop up something like similar to this one will appear and you can go ahead and give it a customized prompt and also styling details and select maybe even if you want to try a different model you can go ahead and do it from here for this one let me just go ahead and select this one and click on generate and the ai will now generate a new image and insert the same in the exact place where it was before so let's wait now as you can see the ai has generated three variations of different images that i could use so i like this one the most so i can select this one and yeah that should be pretty much it i can close this one and as you can see the image is now replaced now you can go ahead and repeat the same process for any image that is in here and the ai will replace it for you and you can go ahead and reiterate and select and find the perfect image okay now, now let's say i don't like the description right here and i want to change it okay all you got to do is to select the text that you want to replace and click on the sparkle icon that says edit with ai and you can go ahead and rephrase the text to make it more engaging you can expand the text or condense the text as well so let me just quickly click on this more engaging option and wait for a few seconds boom ai is now giving me four options that i can use maybe i can go ahead and click on a different one just like this and the text should be replaced instantly okay now you can close it and the changes are already live now after generating the presentation with gamma if you want to go ahead and add a new card not at the end but also in between of any cards you can hover or between any of these cards and click on this plus option to add a blank card okay now you can go ahead and start with a template or generate one with ai and you can take it up from here okay and over to the right side you will find a list of tools and options that we have that you can use to further customize the layout the text the images and all sorts of stuff like that for example let me first click on the card templates option and i can go ahead and select any template that i like let's say i like um, this one right here okay so i can click on it and the layout of the selected card should change instantly and similarly if you want to select the smart layout option you can go ahead and select any of these options or layout style and it should be instantly made you know live on this particular selected card right here for example let me just go ahead and click on this one and as you can see we have a section as exactly what we selected and there you have it for now let me just remove it next you can click on this basic block option to add all sorts of elements like text then we can add tables list 
uh, call out boxes interactive buttons you can go ahead and add, add other chord blocks you know all sorts of stuff maybe if you want to add image you can go ahead and click on this image option you can add videos and medias you can go ahead and embed apps from figma google drive tweet instagram then you can go ahead and add charts and diagrams and you can go ahead and add forms and tables all sorts of stuff okay now explaining all of this is out of context of this video and it will be like easily an hour long so all you got to do is to go ahead and mix and match and you can go ahead and use all of these tools to kind of create and customize the presentation the way you actually like it similarly if you want to add a new card using air you can go ahead and click on this spark icon that says add card with air and describe what exactly you want to add uh, the AI will also suggest a few topics that you can add for now let me just click on ai and seo automation select maybe this one right here and i can click on the send button and the ai will now generate a card about the topic that we selected and also the layout and you can go ahead and further edit it as easy as that now after creating the presentation using whatever theme that you selected and if you feel like you want to change the theme you still got option for that for example you can go ahead and click on this option that says edit theme and the same pop-up will appear again and this time you can go ahead and select a different theme and the entire content of the existing presentation should change to match the theme that you selected this is also yet another important feature that i like a lot about gamma so even if you select a theme and if you want to later change it you can go ahead and do it without any problem now once you're done creating the presentation and if you want to present it right away you can go ahead and click on this present option and if you want to, you can click on this drop down menu and click on the option that says full screen and the slide should you know fill the screen and you can go ahead and present the slide you can see everything is right there and you can just go ahead and present the presentation right away all within gamma and now if you want to download this presentation just click on this option that says share and click on the export option and you can download it as a pdf a powerpoint or extract all the images as pngs and download it as pngs as well for example let me click on export to pdf option and a pdf file of the presentation should get downloaded to your computer instantly so let's wait and boom the pdf is now downloaded and you can go ahead and open it up and see the pdf and it looks exactly the same it has all the layout the images charts text and in fact all the style that you selected earlier so that's how simple it is now as i mentioned earlier gamma is not just a ai presentation creator okay you can go ahead and create a website using gamma and also publish the same i mean let me show you what i'm talking about so once you head back to the dashboard you can just go ahead and click on the create new option and click on the option generate again and this time instead of presentation you got to select a web page option okay now you have a example prompt that you can give for example personal site for a product designer a landing page one page website promoting a dog cafe so the setup process is exactly same as that for the presentation you can select the number of cards you want and you can also give a prompt here okay let for now let me just click on this random prompt that says personal site for a product designer i'll click on the generate outline option and wait for a few seconds and there we have the outline okay for now if you want to go ahead and edit add the details the same way that you did for creating the presentation and you can also go ahead and configure the uh, amount of text per card the image source and this time i'm going to use the web option and i can just select all images option and I'll click on continue and as for the style i'll go ahead and select this random style that's already selected or maybe this one right here indigo and i'll click on generate all right so gamma has started writing the text and all the content for our website so let's wait till it is done gamma has created a website that i can publish right away and similar to editing the presentation slides you can go ahead and select any text make uh, modifications to it you can go ahead and edit the images you can go ahead and add new cards more new blogs new videos media all kind of stuff like that and you can go ahead and even change the theme from the option to the top right for example let me select blueberry and this is how it looks and everything just looks the way i want it to be and once i'm happy i can scroll all the way down and click on this option that says publish this site or maybe this option that says publish i'll click on it wait for a few seconds and gamma will now give me the live url to access the site okay so let me click on this view site option and this is the address of the site that i created in less than one minute using gamma and you can go ahead and share it with anyone and everyone should be able to access the site or whatever web page that you created using gamma and to further customize you can go ahead and do whatever stuff that you want if you want to add a new page or a new card you can go ahead and do that you can add blogs you can go ahead and add images videos media embed stuff from third-party applications 
charts and diagrams and you can do a whole bunch of stuff and that's how easy it is to create a web page using gamma now last but not the least you can also create a fully fledged document using gamma as well for example let me select a random topic essay on the risks of ai and artificial general intelligence or agi click on generate outline there you have the outline so let me just keep it as it is click on continue select a random style click on generate and gamma has now started writing the document so let's wait till it is done all right so gamma has finished generating and it was such an in-depth thing okay so we asked gamma to write an essay on the dangers of ai and artificial general intelligence and this is what it has managed to generate now since it is an essay it can be often boring and you know huge wall of blocks of text and everything and no one really wants to read it right but gamma has actually used interactive and very easy layout or maybe cool design layouts and styles so that pretty much anyone who is reading this document won't really feel bored okay so you have nice layouts and stuff colors and even if you want to you can go ahead and change the theme change the entire look and feel of the uh, whatever document that you have created and you can go ahead and add and do all sorts of editing from here and once you're done you can go ahead and present it or download it as a pdf and share it with anyone you want so that's how you use gamma to create documents now before i wrap up the video let me also show you two different ways you can create presentations web pages or uh, documents using ai so the first option that you have is the paste in text option where you can go ahead and copy a long form text that you have created maybe a blog post or something similar to that one and you can go ahead and put the entire text in here and you can click on continue and the AI will summarize the content and convert it into a presentation just like what we saw earlier similar to that one you also have an option that says import file or URL so just click on it and you will be given three options first one is that you can go ahead and upload a PowerPoint PPTX file Word docs or PDF files you can go ahead and import slides and docs from Google Drive or you can also go ahead and add links to websites sites and web pages and the AI will go ahead and find all the content within the web page summarize it and convert it into a presentation or a document okay now these are also interesting features that you can go ahead and explore right within gamma so that's pretty much it you no longer have to create presentations or web pages or long documents in the old school way so you can go ahead and open gamma give it a simple text prompt select whether you want to create a web page a document or even a presentation and click on the generate button select the outline and within seconds whatever thing that you selected should be live and ready in front of you and now if you don't like the way the presentation that AI created you can go ahead and further customize it using the editor and make it look like the way you actually want it to be okay it doesn't matter if you want to create an office presentation a pitch deck a long document or even a fully fledged website you can go ahead and create it using gamma so make sure to go check out the first link in the description below to access gamma and let me know how it went for you i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe like the video and i'll see you in the next one